This episode of Android Weekly is brought to you by Domain.com. You guys know we live in a bubble, right? I mean, there's a world of us geeks and then the rest of the world who could really care less about phones. I'm sure you've heard your significant other say something like this. How do you find the time to watch so many videos about phones? The same way you find the time to fill two closets full of shoes. You gotta do better than that. Ow. Hey, so if wives and girlfriends can be shoe geeks, we can be phone geeks. And that's why today is all about the ultimate geek's phone. And I'd like to start off with aesthetics. So TheOnion.com has a great parody about Apple's MacBook Pro and how they said they did away with the keyboard and put in a key wheel. I'll buy almost anything if it's shiny and made by Apple. Alex Zalbin was one of the lucky few to get to try out a Mac wheel and spent 45 minutes typing an email to his friend. And of course this was a gross exaggeration because it would be exceedingly painful to type with a key wheel, but they made a point that Apple often sacrifices function for design. Now I'm not here to rag on Apple, I love a lot of different Apple products, but they do exaggerate to make an effective point. Here for the new MacBook, I'd have to buy an $80 dongle because they're only putting in one port to the MacBook. Uh, for people like me who live on my MacBook and I, I earn my living off my MacBook Pro, that is a really big sacrifice for design. But there's a reason they do that. They're questioning what do 80% of the people do 80% of the time. And what 80% of the people do 80% of the time is they're looking for something that's sexy, that looks good, that they can show off to their friends, a little less so with function. Now many of you will think, hey, Android uh, manufacturers often you know, favor function over design, but look what's happened most recently with the Galaxy S6 and the S6 Edge. Would it have been as popular if it were not so thin and sleek and metal unibody? I would submit to you that it would not. I think it's fair to say the market has proven that aesthetics are important, and you're much more likely to be engaged with your device if it is aesthetically pleasing. And it looks like from our poll that most of you agreed with that notion. Now let's talk screen size. Some people feel that bigger is better, but flagship smartphones are now frequently bumping up against phablet territory. Officially, the phablet category starts with a screen size of about 5.1 inches and goes up to 7 inches where devices really become tablets. But that probably needs to be reassessed. The original Galaxy Note had a 5.2 inch screen. The Galaxy S6 now has a 5.1 inch screen. Shrinking bezels allow us to get away with much bigger screen sizes without having to have huge devices. And you can see here how most of you really prefer larger devices. Now let's talk power. Now I could tell you that, you know, I gave my son the Nexus 5 that has a Snapdragon 800 and it has never lagged. He plays games on that quite a bit and he would tell me if it slowed down at all. But this show is all about our dream phone. So let's talk about the dream system on a chip. Now, some of you might be lusting for the rumored Snapdragon 820, but personally, I would go with the Exynos 7420 because it has been blowing away all benchmarks. Thanks to the smaller manufacturing process, Samsung has been able to up its clock speeds by 200 megahertz on the CPU side and 72 megahertz on the GPU side, working out to around 10% increase over the Exynos 5433. While this will inevitably lead to some performance gains, the biggest changes have been made in the system on a chip's memory and GPU specifications. And of course, when you power hungry geeks chimed in, it was clear you were all about the muscle. Now for all you shutterbugs out there, let's talk about the camera. Thanks to the smartphone gods, the megapixel war is now over and we can talk about cameras that actually make a difference. I am looking for cameras that have really good low light performance. Cameras that I can use in real world scenarios when I'm in a restaurant or you know, I'm out late at night and I can still take a photo without flashing that harsh, ugly flash. Now, if we're talking about a dream phone, that also means a dream camera. And I have the Sony Xperia Z3 Compact. It has a very powerful camera on there, but all those great features are deep within the menu. And oftentimes when you go in and try and use it, it's tedious, it takes a long time, and sometimes it just makes the app crash. So we would need to pull out those powerful features and make them much more user friendly. That to me would be the dream camera. What do you guys think? Storage, anybody? You know what, this really depends on where you live, what country you live in and how expensive data is. Here in Canada, it's super expensive. I'm on like a $70 a month plan and it's like, I don't know, uh, five gigabytes a month. And without sneezing, I can easily hit $130 per month. Like, 
without even trying. And that's not watching YouTube or Netflix or anything like that. That's just regular uses. A little bit of Facebook, a little bit of Twitter, email, and Google Maps. Like it's that stupid expensive. It's crazy here. Some other countries I know you've said, hey, you know, just use the cloud. It's not practical for people who, uh, you know, don't have affordable data plans. What do you guys think? So my dream phone would have crazy internal storage or micro SD support. I'm talking like 512 gigabytes. You may laugh, but in five years, you're gonna have phones that big, no problem. So when you're talking about the ultimate anything, you really should put a time limit on it. The ultimate phone I'm looking for in the next year is different than the phone I'm looking for in five years. But if I were honest with you, the ultimate phone I'm dreaming about isn't a phone at all. I want the hardware to get out of the way from the content and the information that I wanna to get to. When I'm at dinner with my wife, I don't wanna to have to be looking down at my phone to get the information I want. When I am driving, I don't wanna to have to look down on a text, cause I don't do that. Or I don't wanna to have to look down uh, for a map when I'm driving. Get the hardware out of the way between me and the information or content that I wanna access. Whether that means better wearables, whether it means HUD displays on cars, uh, you know, other devices, I don't know but we need to not allow the hardware to get in the way from us and the wonderful world of the web. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. So I asked you guys to share your domain names and business names, and you did. I found John, Grant, and Michael from thegamebold.com, and they produce some really good stuff there. It's all gaming, news, and reviews. Please go check it out, thegamebold.com. They said they took about uh, two hours to consult and decide on the name and make sure they could find the .com, because, you know, the .com matters. Why? Because no domain name extension tells your story with the same level of trust as a .com or .net domain name. .com and .net domain name extensions inject credibility into your online presence. And who doesn't want more credibility? You can save 15% on domain name and web hostings when you use our coupon code ANDROID at domain.com checkout. Don't forget, 15% off when you use our coupon code ANDROID. When you think domain names, think domain.com. Now I know what you're thinking, you're thinking, Jace, how could you have possibly missed battery life? I didn't miss battery life. There's like more than 20 videos on our channel about battery life and how important it is and shows that are just dedicated to battery life alone. It's one of the biggest pet peeves of all geeks and casual users alike. We know, battery life has got to change. It's a long time coming. Honestly, I think the device itself has to change before the battery life will change. So. We'll see how that goes. Let me know in the comments below what you think. What is your dream phone? I will be reading them and checking them out. You can connect with me here on Google Plus or Twitter. Don't forget about my brothers in Android who are trying to be your source for all things Android.